Hi. Welcome. I'm Reverend Barbara McPhee, and welcome to our time of devotion. I'm uh, taping today from Rutherford, New Jersey, where I'm here visiting my uh, sister and brother-in-law. We actually went to see my mom, who's in a care facility today. So it's been a blessed day. Our uh, call to worship. Shout for joy to all the Lord. All the earth worship the Lord with gladness. Come before the Lord with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. Our reading comes from Isaiah 40, 31. Soar on wings like eagles. But those who have hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So why did I pick that today? I've been thinking about eagles lately. Uh, I've been following an eaglet on the Big Bear um, site, Big Bear, California. And today, the eaglet named Spirit fledged early this morning, uh, just before 6 a.m. in uh, Mountain, Mountain West time. So I've been watching, like a lot of people, been watching this bird and her flight was magnificent. She, so many times they, their, their first flight, they take off and they don't go very far and they just kind of fall or bang into a tree. But she was magnificent. She had a long flight. It was just, just beautiful. So how did she do that? Well, she'd been practicing and I've been watching her practice. Um, and so I have lots of other people. She practiced every day. And she strengthened those wings by flapping them repeatedly. So the last couple of days kind of looked like she was getting ready to go, but the winds were too strong. She's smart. <laughs> she waited and she waited. And you know what? When the, when the winds were right, she let go. Trust, hope, the right air currents, confidence, she left the nest when she was ready, using all the tools that she had been taught by her parents and her instincts. It was, like I said, beautiful. In Isaiah, we are told um, that all who have hope in the Lord will renew their strength. The operative word there is hope. Hope is, is very important. And so if we have hope, we will have strength and endurance. We will have all that we need. God gives us all that we need. But just like the eagle, once we get all that we need, then we have to apply it. If we don't, what's the opposite of hope? Well, you look today and you see so many people are tired and weary. They're exhausted. They're hopeless. It's almost like they've given up. And that's what you can't do. You can't give up. You have to have hope. You have to have belief. You have to have trust. I think you don't need times to renew your strength. That you don't need like like I needed a couple of days off, and it was great. I got rest. I got to visit family. I got to do some things a little bit different. And you know what? When you do that, you come back really strong, and your confidence grows. You. You, I, you just exude hope and, and peace and love and joy. It's, it's just wonderful. So, um, be like the eagle. Be like the eagle. It doesn't, it, it's not an age thing. It really isn't. Well, I'm 73 and I feel like I can still soar. I can still soar. Yep. I believe in God, I believe in the Holy Spirit, I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe that if I do the right things and I take care of myself and my body and I have hope and trust that who knows what I can do. And if I feel that way, well, I think you can feel that way too. So, um, let us pray and then uh, we'll go into our our famous uh, quote, and we're going to our, our time 
um, of meditation. Dear God, we thank you today for the many ways that you bless us. Sometimes we just get tired, you know, and it's like we get tired and, and not, that, not that we get to a desperate point, but some people do. Some people get so tired, Lord, because it just seems that one thing after another um, comes to interrupt uh, their, their time of maybe renew, renewing their strength. Um, they're too busy, they have too much to do, uh, or there's just too much on their plate. And we have to learn. I used to teach people that, like think of all the things you have to do as, some, as putting them all on the plate and plates up in your head. And so you look at that plate and you say, what can I take off of this plate to make things a little bit lighter? It's important that we do that. We have to learn coping techniques. And sometimes coping techniques are nothing more than just getting a little bit of rest. And then, you know what? You just, you feel so good. And um, you just feel like soaring like an eagle. And we are told that, we are told that we can soar like an eagle if we have hope that we can have our strength renewed, of course we can. Then we'll soar on wings like eagles. We'll run and not grow weary. We'll walk and not be faint. That's a wonderful passage. So God, help us. Help us to be like that. We pray. We give you thanks for the many ways that, that we, 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 we can read and interpret scripture and many ways that we can grow in our faith. We pray, God, um, give you thanks for this day. We thank you that we can come and offer prayer and offer prayer for, um, for all kinds of things. Offer prayer for forgiveness of sins. We can offer prayer for all those who, um, who are not only who are hopeless and helpless and have all kinds of issues, but also those who are are sick, uh, those who have diseases, and not just people, but all of life who suffer from disease or illness or physical issues, mental health issues. We ask your blessing on all of us, your mercies of healing on all of us. Dear God, we ask traveling mercies. It's summertime now, and there are a lot of people that are gonna be taking vacation and traveling. There are people that travel every day anyway, not only people. There's all kind of life to travel. And we ask your blessing that life can safely get to their destinations. Dear God, we pray for those who live in war-torn countries. We pray an end to wars, an end to violence, an end to anger, an end to desperation, an end to anger. May people learn how to address their anger. May they learn how to forgive. May we learn how to love and be at peace with one another. I pray for all of this, Lord. And I pray now for the prayer that you've taught me to pray, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now, sit, relax. I'm outside. It's beautiful. <laughs> relax. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out. Just monitor. Take your time. Monitor your breathing. Okay. And... Here's our thought for today. With hope, I can soar like an eagle. Okay? Breathe in. With hope, I can soar like an eagle. With hope, I can soar like an eagle. With hope, I can soar like an eagle. Yeah.
with hope, I can soar like an eagle. With hope, I can soar like an eagle. Okay. Our quote. If a bird believes it is an eagle long enough, it will eventually end up soaring like one. Be innocent like a dove, strong like an ostrich. Be fierce like a hawk, wise like an owl, and swift like an eagle. Our benediction. The Lord will keep you from all evil. The Lord will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Amen. I hope you have a blessed week. Um, I hope you're surrounded by beauty. I'm hearing the sounds of birds and children playing. And those are beautiful sounds. Have a beautiful, beautiful week. God bless you. Until next week. Bye-bye.